رئيس مجلس الوزراء لهذه القمة التي تأتي for hosting this summit that comes at the decisive moment in the history of our region. This summit convenes as our fellow brothers in Gaza Strip go through that what is unbearable under the Israeli killing machine and the international community failed to live up to their ethical and legal responsibility or take what it takes to end war crimes, pogroms, and violations committed in under the pretext of self-defense. And as our hearts broken to witness women, children, and elders killed in masses amid this human sufferings, till when will the international community remain silent to deal with Israel and leave them above the international law, allowing them to violate all the international laws and turn a blind eye to all the human values in their belligerent war on the indigenous people of Palestine. What is taking place in Gaza is a real threat at all levels. There are unprecedented events. How comes the bombardment of hospital becomes an ordinary attack? under the false allegations that there are tunnels and military installations underneath. Our eyes are frozen and heartbroken to see these atrocities. All this is unprecedented. In this war and even before, during the unjust siege of Gaza, many peoples and states worldwide who lecture on the abidance and compliance with international law and human values standing silent amid all these atrocities against the Palestinians, women and children, bombardment of hospitals and sheltering centers are even represents nothing to them. They remain silent to see the dead bodies reeked, bloated and eaten by stray animals. The international world remained immune against all these scenes, yet at the same time justifying all these crimes committed by the Israelis. Who could imagine that hospitals can be publicly and openly shelled in the 21st century? Total household, entire residential quarters being wiped off the face of the earth, entire people being forced to depopulate and transfer out of their homeland. All this unprecedented events taking place under the nose and eyes of the whole world. Yet some hurry to support and stand in solidarity of Israel and its leader. The state of Qatar has always had stand and firm position in support of the Palestinian people and their, ju their just cause. And we will continue with our partners in the region and the international community to deliver humanitarian aid and the swift delivery thereof amid the Israeli hubris and re rejection of the delivery of aid. And here we call for opening, constantly opening the humanitarian corridor to deliver aid to the affected and the aggrieved without any condition or restriction. And we totally and categorically reject any denial of humanitarian aid and the use of aerial bombardment for political blackmail. We emphasize that all these delivery items, human aid, must arrive and on each and every corner of Gaza Strip. This is at the least we can do. As similarly, we will continue to engage in all the political and diplomatic efforts regionally and globally to end bloodshed, including a mediation for the release of captives. And we hope a permanent ceasefire will be reached immediately to spare the Gaza Strip from the further repercussions of this humanitarian crisis. We reiterate our firm positions against the targeting of all civilians, regardless of their race, ethnicity, religion, 
or color of skin. We also condemn the targeting of medical and educational facilities under any pretext, and in this context, that the international, the United Nations dispatch investigation teams to verify the false allegations propagated by the Israeli occupation to justify the bombardment of these installations. I reiterate, nothing justifies these crimes. You all aware of the sentiment sweeping and prevailing among our people, and this is not a disputed issue, and this difference cannot prevent us from taking a firm stand against the crimes committed in Gaza. We should not stop at releasing statement of condemnation. We should take deterring action to put an end to the belligerent war in Gaza. Backed by the Islamic State, if Israel continues to violate the international law, will not cause damage to the Arab and Muslim countries alone, but the regional states as well. Finally, I emphasize that the only lasting peace to this issue is that under the international resolution, the Arab Peace Initiative, it is the solution that has always been reiterated by the international community and to which we adhere based on our conviction of the Palestinian people's rightful right for peace, security and independent states. And the practical measures following this belligerent war will allow Israel to continue to undermine all efforts aiming at establishing peace. Mainly, Israel continues to re reject, to recognize the rights of the Palestinian people. What it always plans for is further military and security solutions against the civilians' indigenous people. The international community must act to and this current crisis. And if we fail, we will allow the Israelis to continue with this practice. Thank you.